Now you see it. Now you don't. <laughs> that was a good one, huh? Aesthetic-wise, of course, they has that white swoosh with the gold outline. On the back, they finally brought back the heel tab, which is good. On the heel tab, it says L7PS. On the inside part of the shoe, that um, lion with the red eyes, with the crown and everything, thus King James, supposedly King. Um, and on the inside of the shoe, the black, it's a black shoe and a um, gold trim versus the outside, of course, it's white. It's pretty dope. Also on the front, too, it doesn't say LeBron James, it just says LJPS. You guys can see on the Zoom Kobe 5, it has that... Um, crisscross pattern of the fly wire. Same thing they did with the LeBron 7s. Why? Well, maybe because it works. A different fly wire pattern, you know, much more flexible. On the inside of the shoe, the fly wire is different, of course. Much more uh, strategically placed. Uh, keeps the shoe intact. Again, um, keeps the feet intact, I'm sorry. And uh, on the bottom, of course, is that uh, herringbone pattern with that Nike swoosh on the top. All the way down, you know, really nice good herringbone pattern with the zoom air right there. Instead of the holograms that they have on the LeBron 7s, you know, they have that this little king thing with a carbon fiber in the back. And it has that blue icy tint sole. Really, really similar to the Space Jams. Alright, it has that blue tint. You guys, if you guys own those, those pair, it has that same exact texture and feel to it. Big difference about the LeBron 7 PS's is, of course, no Air Max system. I'm glad that they got rid of that because, uh, you know, for lightweight people, can't really take advantage of that shit. Instead of a cushiony feel, it kind of has that little bounce to it, you know, that kind of spring thing that you need, that extra push and lift when you play basketball. Also, another big part of these are is that the arch. There's actually an arch in this damn shoe. Not like the LeBron 7 has no arch at all, no arch support, so every time I fucking walk on it, I feel like a flat foot sasquatch and shit mm. so what they did was you know and the lebron 7 had no carbon fiber at all what they did is they put a carbon fiber plate right back onto their shoe which is dope good job nike as you guys can see they put carbon fiber on all the great um basketball shoes <sighs> like the zoom kobe 5 so the zoom kobe 4 again has that carbon fiber in there for those who have an arch problem and had, who complained about the arch they finally fixed that here in the lebron 7 post seasons performance wise the traction is great it is pristine uh, i love it lockdown feel on the lebron 7s it wasn't that great at all. The, this shoe was like straight up, I cannot play in the LeBron 7s at all, no matter how much I tried. My heel slippage, my foot kept slipping inside the shoe as I played basketball. Um, the tongue would slip down and everything. There's all these problems they had with the shoe. I mean, aesthetically, it's a beautiful shoe, but once you wear them on the basketball court, it's bad. But um, on the tongue, it has that mesh on there. So it, it breathes really well, much better than the, uh, the mesh on the on LeBron 7, you know, little smaller dots in there. Um, and also has ventilation um, holes on the inside of the shoe so your feet could breathe on the toe box and also in the inside of the shoe. Another great thing about this is the inner lining of it. It's also, it works really well. Instead of the little gold, you know, um, um, metal, metal eyelets or whatever, they have these little V fly wires. So it didn't go away technically, did not go away, it's still there. If you guys want to have a good lockdown feel to it, I advise you guys to uh, lace it all the way up to the top right here and then just, you know, lock it down. I mean, it's worth it. I love this shoe, great performance shoe, love it, one of the best shoes out there. A lot of people ask me, you know, which is a better shoe, the LeBron 7 or the Zoom Kobe 5? I would have said Zoom Kobe 5, but now Zoom Kobe 5 versus the LeBron 7 postseasons, um, I don't know. This is much lighter, of course. I mean, this is light, much more lighter than the LeBron 7. So yeah, get it now, like for real. These are going to sell out quick. So for those who are thinking about buying this shoe, buy them. I mean, you're not going to regret it. I don't regret it. Icy sole, beautiful upper, fly wire is dope. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah. Stay tuned, and I'll be talking. If you guys want me to talk about the Adidas, these Adidas, if you guys are interested, please let me know down in the comment box. These are one of the best basketball shoes. That was it. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Don't do drugs. Yeah, take it easy, everyone. And uh, go Bulls. I mean, I mean, <laughs> wrong hat. Go LA, all right? All right, time to play piano. Dun, dun.
Kobe. Go, go.